everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to securely erase a hard drive on Linux. So in my article that I wrote, it's linked down below, I cover three ways, DD, Shred, and DBAN. I am not gonna be doing DBAN because you have to reboot and do all of that, and you really should only use DBAN if you absolutely have to and you cannot do these other two methods. So we're gonna be focusing on just DD and uh, shred because I can do that right in the terminal right here and I can show you the process. With, with DVAN, I can do it, but it's pretty much an automated process and there is really no instructions needed. But you can find all the information uh, and uh, check it out in the description. Anyways, to, to start off, we need to figure out, and we're gonna be doing the DD version first. If you are trying to clear the main hard drive, and what I mean by that is, this is the hard drive that Mint is running off of in this VM. So if you want to clear this drive, you're going to need to run uh, a Linux distribution off of a USB flash drive because you cannot clear the hard drive that you're running off of. So keep that in mind. That being said, I'm going to be deleting the de the dev the dev SDB drive, and this one isn't loaded up. It's it's not being used on anything, so I can just show the process. So the first drive we'll be doing is with the DD command. Now the dd command, uh, the way you would do it is uh, you you first find the drive that you need. In my case, like I said, it's sdb. From there, you just enter the command. All right, so it's time to explain what this command actually means. So it's going to be using urandom as the device for flashing over top of my sdb drive. It is important that you do not do SDB1 or let's say you were doing SDA or SDA1 or SDA5 or whatever. You need to do SDB as the block device so that it does the entire partition table and everything on it. If you just do one, yes, it will delete that one drive partition, but it's not gonna be as useful. And of course, BS equals 10M means the block size is 10 megabytes. You press the enter key and we let it go. It's blinking right now and that means that DD is clearing our partition. And when we can write again, that's when we know it's done. When DD finishes, you can see that we no longer have a dev SDB1. We just have the SDB hard drive and we can create a new file system. Uh, but the next step is uh, to just create a new hard drive partition layout. So if you want to do that, open up your partition editor of choice and uh, select the drive, go to new partition table, new partition, and uh, your drive is as good as new. The stuff that we deleted is now gone. The hard drive is securely erased and you have a new hard drive partition. So the next one we're gonna be focusing on is Shred. Shred works a little bit in the same way, except it doesn't flash over urandom, it just uses its own method. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So once again, you're gonna to need to use the lsblk command to view the hard drive. So we've got our new partition that we just created and it's dev sdb1. So to use Shred, we're gonna make sure that we need, we're gonna make sure that we have Shred installed and we do. So from there, we just do sudo shred vfz dev sdb. And uh, it will go and do one of four passes randomly like uh, dd does, and it will clear up the hard drive. The benefit of using shred over dd is that shred actually does it faster, and it also gives you status reports. So like dd didn't really tell us anything, it just kind of did what it was supposed to do. This is telling us exactly how many gigabytes we are getting rid of at the time, and it's completely shredding the hard drive. In my personal opinion, when I want to flash uh, over hard drives and securely erase them, I prefer shred, but DD is also very good. In, in, and uh, of course, the other method that we cover, uh, DBAN, is also very good. So you got three individual ways you can clear these hard drives if you are looking to secure your data. But uh, that's how that all works. Once it's done, we will be able to create a new hard drive partition. And it should be done any second now. So when Shred finishes, as you can see, it's done four passes. We can once again view our drives and we see there are no partitions once again. And of course, if we do a refresh, we once again see there is nothing there, but everything is securely uh, delete it and we can create a new partition table and uh, a new partition click apply 
and uh, close this and go back. And we have a new partition with fresh data. There's no uh, personal stuff there. Everything is securely erased. Uh, so guys, that's just two ways you can go through and delete your hard drive. Uh, I mentioned DBAN and that is the third way. And I'm not going to show you guys how to do it because it's a live disk, but what I will do is I will show you DBAN in the video so that you can check out what I'm talking about. So we cover this in the article, but you can run this and it will automatically delete any hard drive connected to your PC. So if you are trying to clear all of data off of it before you sell a computer or something, uh, you can go ahead and check that out. It works on pretty much everything. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.